Okay, we're here where the vintage cars, exhibition cars are on display. We run into Ruben Ledesma, who is our national treasurer, and is also celebrating a very significant anniversary this weekend. This is his 40th Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona attendance. And uh, Ruben's going to give us a little insight of what it's been, what changes he's seen in 40 years, and how PCA has been a part of that. Hi, Manny. My first race at Daytona was in 1970. I was a freshman in college. I had the uh, good fortune of uh, acquiring a 914 when they were new, and the 917 was racing at that time. So for me, it was an, an automatic uh, romantic experience. The 917s, the Ferraris, the Alfa Romeos, the Matras, it was a golden age of racing, sports car racing. Uh, at that time, there was a PCA Corral here at the track. Uh, the infrastructure you see today is not in existence. The crowd was large, but it was not really and truly. It was a, a local region from Jacksonville, Florida, crown that had it. And they were very generous and hospitable, but the corral, of course, was done uh, with certain uh, restrictions from the track. As the years evolved, and we uh, visited the track more often, and later I became involved with the PCA National, uh, I had the good fortune of becoming a song rep. Uh, about 10 years ago and the, the corral issue came up and we developed the PCA paddock of Daytona which to this day still exists by the Ferris wheel. It is a very uh, I was thinking, a popular event, it is well attended and the track has been very cooperative with us because of its success. And how many cars do you think we're going to be able to uh, fit into the corral this year, Porsches? Probably in the vicinity of 200 cars. Uh, by uh, I would say the race starts at 3.30, probably right about lunchtime or soon after the uh, corral should be full to capacity. Uh, the way the corral operates, we have eight PCA regions uh, operating the corral on a shift basis. We have seven from Zone 12, which is Florida, and one from Zone 3, Peach State. Uh, and they have been involved with the corral since its inception in, uh, 10 years ago. Uh, so I think it's a wonderful member, uh, member benefit and it's a terrific opportunity for Porsche owners and PCA members to enjoy the uh, secure parking and the amenities the Corral had provides for them. Okay, so if you drive down in your Porsche to the Rolex 24, you got a special parking space waiting just for you. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you, Manny. Good to see you.